Okay, hello. I'm Yuriko, the Regional Coordinator for Pacific and Prairie Regions with CAFE. And today I have with me Kathy Heim and Shannon Smith, outgoing and incoming Executive Directors of Prince George and District Elizabeth Fry Society. They are joining me to help mark this year's Elizabeth Fry Week 2021, where we are focusing on human rights in action. Kathy and Shannon will be sharing some of what their team in Prince George are working on. So welcome, Kathy and Shannon. Thanks, Eureka. One of the pieces that we keep running into in Prince George and probably most organizations, uh, CAVES organizations, the fries across Canada, is housing for women. And, um, and recently, uh, within the last few years, uh, housing has become has become a right for for individuals that everyone has a right to housing to have a roof over their head, um, and that's really important to make sure that those rights are upheld, especially for women entering back into community uh, that may have had a, um, a, a vacant a, like a, a lapse in their their housing history, so that they can't account for where they've been. Uh, either for the last six months or the last six years. And so it's really difficult for them to find housing because they don't have any current references. They don't have um, a history that that can say that they will be a reliable tenant. Um, And sometimes landlords just ask for too many things uh, that they don't have a right to. So landlords have the right to ask for um, uh, the, the, the fact that women have the ability to pay for their rent um, and pass references. Uh, whether they have a criminal record um, is irrelevant. It doesn't matter what religion they are, what culture they are, um, any of those um, basic human rights that must be respected and upheld, um, that is uh, not any business of, of the landlords. And sometimes, a lot of times, actually, that isn't observed by the landlord. kind of having a look at this issue on many levels. Um, First of all, we are addressing this through programming and through the programs that we offer and through our role as advocates. Um, Tenant support workers um, provide a role in providing information. Outreach workers um, have the ability to accompany folks to be able to provide that support to to help them um, with guidelines, check-ins, knowing their rights um, and doing those pieces. Um, Providing opportunities for education for our clients clients um, in regards to having uh, maybe a group um, or a Zoom opportunity for clients to to be able to increase their knowledge around their rights um, in regards to housing and also for landlords. With one specific individual that I I remember working with recently is that uh, she was entering back into community and was having a lot of difficulty in finding housing, uh, was um, living pretty much on the street, uh, couch surfing uh, had pretty much uh, diminished for her. So we got her into our transition house so we could get our outreach worker working with her to uh, find uh, successful and su- suitable and safe and affordable housing. So that's, that's where those advocacy pieces and support pieces really work. I think the, 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 the key there is get involved. Um, I think it's it's everybody at every level and within all of their roles um, certainly can play a part. I think the biggest piece that folks could, could really um, encourage everybody on is know the legislation. Um, there's provincial legislation, there's, there's tenancy legislation, there's a lot of knowledge to know there and sometimes that's super difficult for clients to be able to, to read and then apply to themselves. So I think um, um, my biggest thing would be for everybody to to take any training, do any readings, and become as knowledgeable as possible on the topic. I'd like to thank you guys for your time. It's a short and sweet interview. And thank you for you, your efforts, and not only you, but your staff, for advocating for the needs of the vulnerable in your communities. Thanks. That's a wrap. Thanks, Eureka.